Hey guys, this is just going to be a quick makeup tutorial for um, back to school. I have, well, one of my sisters is still in high school. So this is basically kind of like a high school kind of makeup tutorial for teenagers that are still in high school that want to wear a little bit of makeup but don't want to wear like a full face, like look like they're wearing a whole lot of makeup. So this is what I would wear um, in high school. I just wore powder, um, eyeliner, mascara. Um, I didn't know much about makeup then, but I know a lot of young girls are really into makeup now, so I'm going to show a natural, simple way to uh, wear makeup when you're in school. So, uh, I'll start out with the eyes. You don't want to have a whole lot of eyeshadow on, so we're just going to do a simp really simple eye look. First, I'm going to use a, a base for my eyes. I'm using a paint pot. Um, you can use if you ha whatever base you have, like a cream base, or uh, if you have oily eyelids, then um, I'm not, I think there's one in drugstores, um, L'Oreal Decrease. I've had that one before. Um, it's not for really oily eyelids, but um, it works pretty well. Or if you have Too Faced Shadow Insurance or anything like this. These are a good investment because they last a very long time. Now we're going to take an eyeshadow. And I think um, younger girls shouldn't really wear like really dark crease colors and everything. So we're just going to go for one color on the lid because I really like that look. I, I wear it a lot. So my favorite, this is my MAC palette. Um, they're like uh, Maybelline quads have really pretty colors in them. This is All That Glitters and this one is um, Expensive Pink. I like both of these. Expensive Pink is um, really good for darker skin tones because it's kind of like a bronzy pink so it blends in a little better with this than, with your skin tone than All That Glitters would. This is more for uh, lighter skin tones. Um, but I still like this color. It really pops on the eye. But for school, I would go for expensive pink. So we're just going to, I'm using a flat sheet of brush. And we're going to take expensive pink. And just apply it to the lid. And since this is a Velux Pearl, it will look like you have like more than one color on because of the different reflex in it. So I'm going to take that and put it on both eyes. And you just need one brush for this, very simple. And you want to blend it a little bit so that it doesn't look harsh. I want to excuse my hair today. I was experimenting with it a little bit, so I have no clue how it looks on camera. So that's it for our eyes. Um, my eyebrows are a little messed up today, but that's okay. Um, eyeliner. I know a lot of young girls really struggle with eyeliner. And this is my tip. I would go for a coal type of eyeliner, usually one that has a smudger on the end. This is, excuse me, this is a Victoria's Secret eyeliner and they come with smudgers on the end. And what I do is I create uh, a line on top. It doesn't have to be even at all. On both eyes. And then we're going to do just the outer corner of our bottom line. Because we don't want really harsh eyeliner. And you don't have to make this even at all because we're going to take the smudger in. This end. And you'll just drag it along the line. And it smudges it out and makes it look more even and more subtle than a really harsh line above your lid. And you'll do the same for the bottom. And I kind of try and connect mine at the corner. And it gives you kind of like a winged eyeliner look without really winging out your eyeliner. Because I'm not very good at winging out my eyeliner. So this helps give me that illusion of it. And I just do that on both sides.
You just connect the corners. Very quick, simple. Now we're going to go for mascara. This is CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. I really recommend this mascara because it's really easy to use and it's hard to clump it. So I'll apply this on both eyes. Okay, that's it for the eyes. Those are really simple and easy. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to our eye face. Um, for teenagers, I really don't recommend heavy um, foundation because it can really look harsh on your skin, especially if usually um, teenagers are more acne prone, as I really was. So I would really recommend a tinted moisturizer. If you have oily skin, go for one that is oil-free. This is Smashbox. Um, Sheer Focus Tinted Moisturizer. It has SPF 15, so that's pretty good. Um, I already applied a primer on my face. I use Avon's Magic Face Perfector, and um, I've used that in a whole lot of my other makeup tutorials, and it's very inexpensive, and it has SPF 20, so that's another plus. So we're just going to go ahead and apply some of this with our fingers. Don't need a lot, about that much. And you're just going to dot it on where you need it. And during the school, you don't really want to try and get a lot of coverage from makeup because during the day you're going to be out in, well, if you have like a, a phys PE, like physical education class, um, you don't want your makeup to be melting off, so the less, less you use, it's better because it's less prone to um, because it's less prone to melting off of your face. So you just rub it in like lotion and it'll just even out your skin tone tie bit. Now to set your tinted moisturizer and give like a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna take a huge um powder brush. This is the SS150 and this is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm just going to get some on the brush and buff it into your face. And now that we have set our tinted moisturizer, my face looks a whole lot more fresher and more. It doesn't give more cover, much coverage, so it looks very natural because my skin does shine through, but it looks fresh and more evened out. So the last thing would be your lips. I would of course go for some chapstick. Just a little chapstick and a lip gloss. Mine disappeared. Let's choose another one. I would choose a simple lip gloss. This is one from e.l.f. They're only a dollar on eyes lip space. Just a little. 
to add a little pop of color. And that is my back to school makeup for teenagers. So it is very fresh and natural and it doesn't look like you piled on a whole lot of makeup before you went to school. So your natural beauty shines through. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and that it was helpful to someone. Um, but yeah. Uh, if you have any questions about the products I use or any uh, other products that I suggest because I know I used a lot of MAC products today. Um, there are plenty of drugstore products that are similar to all the products I use. For instance, the Tinted Moisturizer, there's the CoverGirl Aqua Smoother. That's basically the same as this. Um, the mascara I use is drugstore. Um, the eyeliner, there's tons of drugstore eyeliners like those. Uh, paint pots, there are Revlon Color Stay Cream Eye Bases. And the uh, pressed powder, I really like the L'Oreal True Match Powder, I think it is. Um, that's similar to this. And Chapstick is from drugstore, of course. So they're all very dupable, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!